In today's video, I am going to show you how to get through a Microsoft 11 setup without using a Microsoft account. Usually they force you and require a Microsoft Online Connected account to get through the setup. They also require an internet connection. Well, I'm going to show you how to bypass that. So we're going to go ahead and click through these first couple screens where you select your country, your keyboard layout, and then if you don't have internet connected, you're going to get to this screen. And if you do have internet, well, it'll go past this, but it's still going to require you to have a Microsoft account. So here's how we're going to get past both of these scenarios. Press Shift F10 on your keyboard, and then a command prompt window will appear. In that command prompt, we're going to type in a very simple command with no spaces. The command is OOBE backslash bypass NRO. Once again, there are no spaces. Doesn't matter if it's all lowercase, just like that. Once you get that command in there, go ahead and press enter. And now your computer is going to do a quick restart and it's going to come back to the initial Windows 11 setup. So once again, we're going to go ahead and be prompted with our country of origin. I'm going to go ahead and select that and then we're going to move to the next screen and we are going to have a new option here that we did not have just moments ago. We have a new option at the bottom that says, I don't have internet. So we're going to go ahead and select, I don't have internet, and it is now going to allow us to log in with a local user account instead of a Microsoft Online Connected account. So we're going to hit continue with limited setup, and once we click limited setup, we will be prompted to enter the local username that we wish to use. Now, this is a local account, so it is in no way connected to anything online with Microsoft. So my preference is always to just simply use user as my username. That keeps it very generic, keeps it very low key, and there's no identifiable information in there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get past this. And now we're going to turn off all of these features right here. This is just my preference. So I go ahead and turn all those off. Go ahead and hit the accept button. And once you do that, we're going to have a quick restart. And Windows 11 is going to start up. And we are now going to be at our Windows 11 desktop, logged in with a local user account instead of an online Microsoft account. So. If you do not have internet at the time of setup, or if you perhaps do not want to use a Microsoft Online account, you can use that command prompt command line, and that'll get you past those roadblocks. As always, thanks for watching.